He lifted the New Democrats to a record high just months ago. Spring is here, my friends, and a new chapter begins. Winning the hearts and votes of Canadians with his strength, battling prostate cancer and recovering from hip surgery, fiercely taking opponents to task. Why do you have the worst attendance record in the House of Commons of any member of Parliament? You know, most Canadians, if they don't show up for work, they don't get a promotion. For the first time in Canadian history, the NDP became the official opposition. It was under Jack's leadership that this came about, and uh, he's going to be remembered for that. He's a giant in, in the history of our party. Tragically, the celebration would not last long. I have a new cancer, non-prostate cancer, uh, that's going to require further treatment. The treatment didn't work. Leighton lost his battle with cancer early Monday morning, surrounded by loved ones. Leighton himself wrote a letter to Canadians two days ago, thanking people for their support, urging other Canadians fighting cancer not to be discouraged. He says, you have every reason to be optimistic, determined and focused on the future. My only other advice is to cherish every moment with those you love at every stage of your journey, as I have done this summer. On Parliament Hill, respect and admiration for a man said to be exactly the same in private as he was in public. Jack Layton will be remembered for the force of his personality and his dedication to public life. We have all lost an engaging personality in a man of strong principles. It's just a very sad day. I, I don't think there's any other way of describing it. Um, I've said before on other sad occasions, uh, uh, sometimes the world has a way of breaking your heart. And I think a lot of us uh, feel that way today. It didn't take long before a large crowd gathered here on Parliament Hill. Canadians wishing to pay their respects to a leader who inspired many. Uh, it's something that even non-New Democrats cannot deny. Mr. Layton has been a great politician, a great Canadian. He has been working for our nation. And I think uh, it's a great loss for our country today. Layton also had a message for young Canadians. Your energy, your vision, your passion for justice are exactly what this country needs today. You need to be at the heart of our economy, our political life, and our plans for the present and the future. He signed it, love is better than anger, hope is better than fear, optimism is better than despair. So let us be loving, hopeful, and optimistic, and we'll change the world. Jack Layton was 61.